We're back with the Limitless. Man, I got a lot to learn on this thing. I, you know, I, I don't have anybody really helping me at all. I, I mean, this is all just me trying to figure things out based off of uh, what I can tell, some of the data and stuff like that, and uh, tuning wise, what the tires are doing. So, like our last video, we're gonna keep going. I, it's a challenge that I love doing. I love learning. Um, I figure uh, if I keep progressing and doing things, we'll figure it out. I'll eventually figure it out. And maybe somebody will give you some tips along the way. So, um, you know, I said, we got to do another locker. We're going to do that other locker in the front. This is uh, another Iron Man RC locker like what we did in the back. But I got something else I want to show you too before we get into it. Oh man, look at this beautiful locker. This is the Iron Man RC one. I, you saw the last one. Went together really nice. The one thing I do do is I do, I notice you got to deburr these four, you know, and then some of these edges around here. Um, I just take a file and clean them up, right? And then uh, I use the um, Scorch, you know, flat, nice uh, steel instead of the stainless steel ones that they provide. I also change out these four screws. I don't like, their hardware I'm not a big fan of. Um, but everything else, super, super nice. Goes together really well. I don't know of any issues in the back yet, so um, I figured I'd do a matched one for the front. Um, now, I will show you, we've got that one. And then, I've got a couple. I've got a pair from Scorched. Um, these are gonna be for the speed run truck. So, well, you can see them, they're pretty, uh, they're pretty similar in design. Um, these cups are, you know, if you've dealt with the Scorch at all, these cups are super nice. They lighten them and all that other stuff. Um, so I will say that helps lighten it. They are running a steel through shaft. Oh no. Uh, the Scorch is running a steel through shaft, whereas uh, the Iron Man RC is titanium uh, through shaft. Um, you know, both have nice bearings, nice cups, nice, pretty nice machining, whereas uh, the M, this Scorch, the machining on that center hub is just beautiful. There's no, I mean, edges are all chamfered, like excellent. There's no burrs anywhere, it's smooth. So that's where you can see, um, you know, a big difference. So, but, you know, this, I can get a lot quicker. Um, and so far, no issues at all, and it's all, Everything lines up perfectly, nice tight fits. Uh, there, nothing's loose anywhere, it's a very tight fit. So, um, we're, like I said, we're gonna do these on our speed run truck. Um, so I've got a couple new gears coming for these, you know, and when we go to do the speed run truck stuff, we'll show you all that too. But like I said, very, very nice, the Scorch stuff, typical, you know. But this Iron, Arm, Iron Man RC, I was very impressed with the, you know, the last one and um, really like, it goes together. Super, super nice, nice components. So we're gonna get this thing slammed in the front of the Limitless. And then we're gonna, I think I'll probably put a, um, a new set of rear D-boots on it. Cause you know, I smoked that one last time. Um, Cause I just wanna see how it reacts. I don't wanna go ruin a, a set of GRPs or foams or anything like that. So. I've got a, the fronts look okay. Uh, the rears are totally trashed. So those, um, I mean, I could use that for like a burnout. Um, maybe once it's got a, I mean, if you look here, it's got this big divot just all inside of it. It's nasty. So this one was about to blow too. That one just went first. So let's get this in there. We'll get a new set of rear hoons on uh, and just go see how it reacts. Um, and then, you know, I may turn the power down a little bit on it too. Um, and just see how, I wanna see how it leaves and how it kind of reacts, how the car goes. And then after that, we'll get the GRPs on it. So I've got a set of, they're medium hards. They're not super duper soft. Um, that's all I got right now. Tires are expensive. So, um, you know, trying to save up a little bit to order some more tires, order some foams as well. So 
we're gonna get some probably some mediums or medium softs uh, for this thing because um, I think the softs will be oh I think they'll I think they'll grip really good I think they'll heat up really fast and get kind of slimy I don't know we'll see maybe I'll throw some softs on it too and just try them you know I'm willing to try anything. Uh, let's. I want to see how this thing reacts on GRPs because I feel like it's going to be a lot. I mean, these hoons are junk. I mean, if you've used the hoons, they're great for bashing and having fun with. The GRPs make a big difference. So, um, you know, we did the GRPs on the mini fraction, and that thing's been uh, hooking up pretty good. We got a few more things in the work and working that. This thing's going to get some GRP. I've got a set for it. Um, because we got to take that thing out and do the next speed run on it and see how it does. So, but back to this awesome infraction. And uh, all right, time to slam it in. I talk too much. So before we take the Limitless out and do some quick hits, um, we are going to do one little thing. So I've been wanting to do it for a while. This is a scorched uh, center brace. I love my Basher Queen center brace. I love it. Uh, they are fantastic. They're amazing, they work great. The only thing is with this car, uh, since I went with the Perfect Pass uh, drive shaft setup, they're huge, right? And you cannot use the front and rear uh, chassis braces that come down, they come from you know up here and they connect down here, right? So it won't fit. Uh, I believe just bash it supposedly makes them, but I think they're for the V1 setups. Um, and I'm like, I don't know. But Scorch has this, right? So this whole piece, right, is super awesome. If you haven't seen it before, you remove your center brace, right? And it connects in between this section here, right? So that bolts down lower. These four bolt holes are connected through uh, the motor mount and center diff section. And then it connects, you remove this top plate and it has a full billet mount um, all the hardware, all the spacers for right here uh, to do their mount or I believe a stock or the stock mount, right? And it's a bolt-in deal. So it'll actually lower this down a little bit too. Um, so we'll see how everything fits with the wiring and all that nonsense, but I'm sure we'll get it to fit right. But this just really, it ties the rear, the center, and the front all together. So. Um, I really wanted a way to try to make sure that all that was, was lined up. I mean, and this thing is so nice. Um, the carbon they use, and then they, you know, when they machine it, they bevel all the edges. I mean, it's, it's super nice stuff. So, I mean, we've got all the perfect pass on this one, all the carbon, but uh, we'll give it a little scorch treatment too. So this is pretty much all a <laughs> perfect pass car, but uh, I'm just gonna get it one little scorch piece, so. We'll get this thing on real quick, um, show you what it looks like, and then uh, and then we're gonna take this thing out and see if we can uh, smoke these tires up. Bang! Look at that. That is so nice. That billet piece underneath. The washers, spacers are perfect. Man. Fit and finish, typical scorched. Typical scorched, always. Man, I've never had a problem never had a problem fit is great I will say I left out one piece <laughs> the little rubber spacer that goes under the body mount um, that was missing it just eight millimeter by eight millimeter um, I took some 5 16 uh, fuel line trimmed to eight millimeter works perfect so that happens every once in a while you know I mean Sometimes, you know, human error, missed a little piece. It's a cheapy little piece, no big deal. Got a bunch of leftover screws, <laughs> leftover top plate, or, you know, so. And then these spacers are in case, I think if you use their mount, um, I think it sits a little bit lower. So these are a little bit taller spacer, which is cool. They give you the other spacers. I know they say it can work on like a uh, PPS mount and stuff like that too. I think you need to like modify or use a different spacer. Um, but man, I'm thoroughly impressed. Fit and finish is great. I'm bummed because my uh, cat pack's gonna cover up the little the scorched em, you know, emblem, but hey, gives it an even better place to zip tie to. So uh, really, really, I think this will really give the 
car chassis a little bit more stability. So I'm gonna zip tie the cap pack on and then we're gonna take this thing out. All right, so uh, we got that limitless out here. We got that scorch brace on. We're gonna make some test hits. We're on the hoons. Uh, I think I turned the power down to 50% on the uh, radio link, I think. I don't know. I didn't even look at the book, so I think I did it right. We'll see. If, if it blows the tires off, we know we. I did do it right. So we're gonna make a. We're gonna make probably one or two quick test hits with it. Um, just check functionality. Then we're gonna switch over to the GRP. So let's go. So let's get you down here. It's a good spot. All right. Let's feel like I'm fairly straight. Let's see how it goes. definitely 50% power so that's good I like that uh, let's try one more quick hit see how it does doing this to see how it does spin that way I can uh, adjust the shocks accordingly before we go into the GRP so let's try one more hit and see how it does Hoons just have zero zero. It's like riding on ice. But I definitely feel like the lockers in the front and rear are definitely helping. So uh, let's try one, 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 one. depends on the crown and the road too so I'm trying to get it on the top of it so let's see one more okay oh, I'm getting old for this <laughs> crouching down um, I would definitely say since uh, you know, it's drifting a little bit, you know, get a little bit more heat in the tires. You can tell it starts to hook up a little bit better, but, um, you know, we're going to go back. I'm going to make some adjustments to the rear shocks. I think, um, probably preload the side, one side a little bit more than the other, and then we're going to swap over to the GRPs. Let's see how it goes. All right. We got a fresh set of GRPs on there. You can see nothing, nothing. These are their new hard wheel. So it's a stiffer actual wheel itself. It doesn't flex as much. So I'm hoping that'll help too. I think this would be really good on more of the higher speed stuff too. Um, because, you know, especially speed running, you get a lot of movement flex in the wheel. I think having a harder wheel is a lot better. I'd love to see somebody make some of the, you know, some aero dish ones out of full carbon, or um, that would be sweet with some, either some good foams or some good rubber. Uh, for the speed run stuff that would be awesome um 
but I think these might work. Um, I did uh, adjust the rear suspension a little bit since it was, you know, going off to the right. I mean, it's fishtailing to the left. It's fishtailing and pulling to the right. Um, I have added some preload to the right rear spring. Let's see if that helps any. Um, I don't know. We'll see if it's not noticeable on these tires, then I might go back to the Hoons and, um, you know, do that again because I think that the Hoons tend to show it more um, and it's a lot cheaper to wear those out. So we're gonna go take this thing out, do a couple more, maybe two test sets because I noticed it was pretty hot. You know, I did, I think four this last time. So we'll do two and then let it cool back down um, and try that. So let's go take it out. All right, so. Uh, I'm gonna keep it on 50% for now. Ooh, oh, okay. let's not drive this thing one handed. It gets a little crazy. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna probably uh, heat up these tires a little bit and uh, go from there. scuff them right all right let me get you down on the tripod they look like they got nice and hot so that's good this helps at all we're still on 50% power we got the GRPs on there a little bit of heat and uh, right front sh or rear right shock adjusted so let's see how it does Definitely uh, pulling to the right still a little bit. Uh, although, let's see. Um, let's see if we can get a better one. Maybe the more heat in the tires. Just want to see how it goes. All right, one more. Ready, go. Definitely pulling to the right, so let's do one more and then we'll go back in. Ooh, that was much straighter. Maybe it needs more heat in the tires. Try one more time. Still, uh, still pulling to the right. So what we'll do is we'll go back in here, make a quick adjustment, cool it all down. These tires are definitely got way more grip, which is better. You can see all the rocks stuck to them. Um, uh, you know, this is gonna be kind of like a little no prep. I don't think, you know, this is, this car is meant to have some fun. Uh, drag race buddies, you know, I don't think I'll ever do, I don't know, you never know. It might be fun to do some competition stuff, but light competition stuff. So let's go take her in and uh, let's go take it in and uh, go check her out. And uh, I think we need to make some more preload adjustment. And let's see, tires win. Okay, let me make sure they're wearing evenly. Feel like maybe I need to adjust the camber on the rear a little bit too. Um, 
think under load, it's contacting the back or the outside tire, the outside of the tire more than the inner. So we'll go get a, a good look at that too. So, and uh, so we'll go let it cool down, check it over, and then we'll make some adjustments, show you what we did. Then we'll come out and do a few more test hits. Loving this thing, okay? Way better on the GRPs. <laughs> All right, so we're back. Uh, it's much later in the day. It's about, oh man, it's about a little after seven and it's like 94 degrees outside still. And, um, but we've had a lot of shade on the street. So uh, we're gonna give this a go. I had to charge up the battery. I got the batteries all charged back up. I did uh, put some um, preload in the right rear. So let's see if that helps it get a little bit straighter. I'm really hoping so. So let's see how this goes out here. All right, so let me put you down here. We're not gonna do it very far because I have a feeling like that went good at first and then it kicked out really hard so let's see how it goes this time Like it started to kick and then it caught it. Oh man, what was that? He's hot, you can hear the fan. So the ESC fan is on. So I have a feeling the motor's probably pretty freaking hot. Oh, what just happened there? No. Oh man. Okay, no more driving this thing one-handed because I obviously don't know this remote very well yet. Huh? Man. Just wants to. That TP motor just wants to rip. <laughs> That's right. That's why I cut the plastic on. And no carbon fiber, I can bend that back. Oh man, what a dummy. But let's, uh, I'm gonna pull it off. I feel like once the tires got hot, um, it did not start pulling to the right. So, and they got some good heat in them right now. I don't know, we'll, we'll try it off. And these are the softs, maybe I, I don't know, I might go to a super soft and keep these first. My, more of my speed run stuff. So let's see, but it's hot. It is hot outside. So we're gonna shut you down, look everything over, and then uh, see what kind of adjustments we need to make. 
Hey, so that's gonna be a wrap on this video. Um, it's already longer than I wanted it to be. Um, I always struggle, because I think I talk too much, with making sure I give the detail of what I'm actually doing and um, also just kind of skipping through because I want it to be entertaining, but um, I always struggle too because I like, I, like I like sharing the knowledge. I like sharing the struggle. I like sharing you know, what's actually really happening. happening. So, um, but I really want to thank everybody. Um, you know, <clears throat> I went back and reviewed a lot of the footage and I'm going to make a bunch of other, um, adjustments, I think. So, um, stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be coming soon because we're going to take this thing back out, um, and do, uh, some more test hits. We're going to make different changes, make more test hits, see where we go. And then I think we're going to be able to start turning up the power. So comment, like, subscribe. Um, Hey, hit me in the comments. If you've got any, uh, ideas of what do you think I should do? I, th I, I'm pretty sure I need what I need to do now, uh, on the adjustment wise. So, um, and I'll go through, I'll kind of show you, you know, how I was making adjustments on this next video and give you a little more detail of that too. So, um, really appreciate all the support, love interacting. I love all the comments. Um, it's really fun. You know, like I said, this is just, you know, I'll make any money off this. I have a fun time doing it, sharing my knowledge. I'm learning. I, this is, I've been on the struggle bus with this thing. So, um, but I feel like it's going to probably turn. So, um, you know, appreciate all the support and we'll, uh, catch you on the next one.